Hello there. Hello, and we are late to the party, and it's finally here. I'm so excited for new episodes of The Mandalorian. I'm excited for Star Wars. I'm excited to see where we're going in the world that Dave Filoni and John Favreau are bringing us. Yes, especially with this episode, we've been it's been speculated for such a long time and now it's finally here. I'm looking forward to seeing what we have in store for this episode. I know he's on his way to meet Ahsoka, so I'm looking forward to seeing Ahsoka in live action. She's one of my favorite characters, so to have them bring her back in a full live action is going to be awesome. And everyone's saying Filoni's directing this episode and of course Filoni wouldn't let anyone else get their hands on Ahsoka. It's all him. So it only is suiting for him to tell us a tale. But let's get into this reaction now. The anticipation is insane. What is happening? Is that Michael Bean? Looks like it a little bit. Yes! Yes! Oh, snap! Damn, girl. She's just wrecking shot. Show yourself, Jedi. No, 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 no. You have one day. It really did her up well, too. Yeah. We will be ready. Really, Johnny Ringo? Hey, That's man. just his game. Oh, man. I don't know what I'm more excited about. Johnny Ringo, Ever. Michael Bean. <laughs> or, yeah. I'm loving this music, too, behind the theme. Come on, buddy, get back. Of course. <laughs> hey. You want the thing. <laughs> Look at that little crawl. Seatbelt, baby, seatbelt. I'm digging the sound effects that they're using for the force. They did the same thing when uh, Ahsoka was taking those guys out. Except hers sounded different. Yeah. It was like a vibration. But you, but you, gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> I love that they didn't waste any time either. It's called the Jedi. We're just put her right straight forward, right up front. <laughs> <laughs> it's a long walk. This needs to stay in the ship. They're gonna use you against her. Possibly. Killed. Last I checked. He hasn't checked in a while. Open the gate. Kyle Reese, Corporal Hicks. Come on, Michael Bean. It's exciting to see him. He knows his way him. around a blaster. Yeah, he does. Got this town under lock and key. Yeah. Damn. That sucks. Yep. Yeah, you hide. He knows. He could sense it. We've now entered the Game of Thrones portion of the Mandalorian. The talking. The talking in the gardens. Yes. It's made out of Beskar. That's Beskar, all right. Beskar. Kill the Jedi, and it's yours. Valuable. What is that thing? No. I keep it around for luck. You're gonna need it where you're headed. <laughs> so brooding. Yeah. Look at all the tween in me. Mm -hmm. It's a scorched earth. Don't worry. Set right here. Let me see what's out there. No, it's not. <laughs> Yeah, man, that's Ahsoka you're messing with. Yeah. <laughs> Tell her. Sent me. I hope it's about him. <laughs> Shed some light, please. Yes. I love that shot too with the moon in the back. Yeah. Come on, yeah. There you go. She's like, his name is Stormageddon, Dark Lord of All. <laughs> Grogu and I can feel each other's thoughts. Grogu? Is that his name? That's his name. Oh, I know his name, Grogu! I like it. 
He was raised at the Jedi Temple on Coruscant. A wise Jedi master named Yoda. Oh man, the Yoda music. That's a nice little touch. Mm -hmm. Can he still wield the Force? The Force is what gives him his power. It is an energy field created by all living things. I've seen him do things I can't explain. My task was to bring him to a Jedi. She's not a Jedi. Anymore. The Jedi Order fell a long time ago. So did the Empire, yet it still hunts him. Do that. <laughs> now return the stone to me, Grogu. <laughs> Come on, Grogu. No. He's been through a lot. Yeah, he's afraid. Has much fear in me. Grogu. Oh. Grogu. Come on. <laughs> Take the stone. Yeah, the little thing. <laughs> yeah, he knows what he wants. You know what you want, you Grogu. Want <laughs> Cannot drain him. What? His attachment to you makes him vulnerable to his fear, his anger. All the more reason to train him. I've seen what such feelings can do to a fully trained Jedi Knight. Yep. First hand. She knows. The magistrate sent away. me to kill you, and I'll help you with your problem. Two HK-87 assassin droids. I love that they're HKs. Not even your laser swords would be able to protect you from laser swords. <laughs> she plundered worlds. Destroying them in the process. Yeah, it looks like she's still in business. Yeah, definitely. Okay. A Mandalorian and a Jedi? They'll never see it coming. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Ooh, the music. I want to see an HK get into some action. Neat bag. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> that was a good shot right there, too. Look at those HKs. That's Ahsoka. Yeah. We Jeez. just killed your Mandalorian. <laughs> Here we go. Execute them. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, the little old man was coming to help, too. He was going to step up. Yep. Even without Mando there. Just slice and dice, man. <laughs> You're being hunted. <laughs> <laughs> You're having so much fun with this episode. Ooh. That was so a nice sick. shot there. <laughs> That was quick. Here we go. Yeah. Oh, here we go. <laughs> You're no Daisy at all. I'm your Huckleberry. So you throwing with the Jedi. Looks that way. <laughs> Both are gonna get their moments. I'm sure she could scrap too. And it's Beskar. Yeah. There you go. Get ready. And the sound of her sabers too is just perfect. I love the art of the fight. Who do you think's gonna win? It's a good old fashioned duel on both sides, too. Oh that was, no! That was like the closest look at the hilt we've gotten. Willing to lay our lives down for the right cause. I love that he's rocking a shotgun, too. Which this is not. Just like Corporal Hicks. She's just playing with you, girl. So intense. Your side won. Sounds like you win. Yeah. Yeah. No, but where's the other HK? HK87. No! Oh, he got you. Bested again. Yep. You know better than to get yourself into a <laughs> duel. Come on now. Nope. No! <laughs> right in the head. Where is Grand Admiral Thrawn? <gasps> Are you she said it. What? <laughs> yeah, but where if that mean that maybe Ezra? Because Belongs with the Mandalorian. 
He was leadership too, man. <laughs> Doesn't even need to say a word, but they said so much about his character. Yep. Look at him. I cannot train him. Go to the planet Python. There you will find the ancient ruins of a temple that has a strong connection to the Force. Then what? Then Grogu may choose his path. There's a chance a Jedi may sense his presence and come searching for him. There aren't many Jedi left. There's at least one going around calling himself a Jedi. Luke Skywalker. Till we meet again. On to the next adventure. <laughs> <laughs> On to a Jedi temple. Yeah. Did you guys trade numbers? I mean, she's always been looking for Thrawn because, you know, they were looking for Ezra too. So. Now we're going to get to play Thrawn. Of course, Mr. Dave Filoni. <laughs> the little cat. You guys see that meme with the cat bouncing back and forth to the music? And then ten minutes later, he's still doing it. <laughs> the kid has a name! Grogu! Grogu is his name. So much revealed in this episode. Yes. Light has been shed on things going on in the Star Wars universe. Uh, I had to reach back there and grab this is what is incredibly uh, important at the moment for me. Because one thing, we got Grand Admiral Thrawn. We got Grand Admiral Thrawn in Star Wars Rebels. True. But we knew Grand Admiral Thrawn from post-Return of the Jedi. Therefore, if Grand Admiral Thrawn is still kicking around, causing trouble, and Ahsoka's after his ass, now we can utilize a Grand Admiral Thrawn in post-Return of the Jedi era after the Empire has fallen, which is what we've gotten before. So cherry-picking, making better, and doing it badass like in this episode. True, and uh, we've also gotten the, the, the Thrawn series as well. Correct, uh, That yeah. came out recently too. The book series. The book series. Timothy's on, man. Yeah. So I, I feel like there's going to be homage and a lot of love thrown to Thrawn like has been done already in books and uh, the uh, the Rebel series too. I think that it, it does kind of make sense that she's kind of going through on this path right. because spoilers, if you haven't seen rebels that was what was kind of happening at the end like it was her and sabine and they were kind of going to trying to find ezra and if we all know what happened ezra you know with ron at the end they kind of just with the the star whales went bye bye so <laughs> maybe you find one and you'll find the other one who knows possibly but it just shows that we are diving deeper into the world of star wars rebels the clone wars um, when when they just started the whole episode right off the bat with Ahsoka wrecking shop and seeing Ahsoka trying to do some good, get this village back, their village, and seeing this, you know, dark, controlling authoritarian taking over with Michael Bean at her side. Uh, but yeah, that's that's what I love about this show is it does at times feel like it's dragging its feet although i'm entertained as hell when the feet are being dragged but then we hit an episode that just pops off so much information opens up so many more doors granted she just sent us on another mission we thought it was to find her yeah to find her was the halfway point and now we're going to a jedi temple yeah and it's we're gonna end up seeing Grogu have to figure out his path in the Force, and it's gonna open up doors. If it opens up doors, and the Jedi shows up, that's gonna come and and help. Actually, be able to help because you know Ahsoka ain't no Jedi, so there's True. somebody else that could maybe want to take on that challenge. And we're sure there's a few of them kicking around. I mean, we know Luke Skywalker's kicking around. We don't think it's so much gonna be Luke. No, I'm sure that there there are some who escape the purge and are out there some. Somewhere. Absolutely, and it would be kind of cool if we see like some of the other ones, some other Jedi's that we've known that are out there, right? Um, come into the fray that have been in the background, but bring them into the forefront a little bit, which would be cool to see. Um, but like we said, there was a lot to unpack on this episode, uh, but it, it was a good arc for this season too. Right. It was like that over the hump. It now. does feel like over the hump. But not so much as if, like, it's all downhill from right, here. Right, right, right. It's more <laughs> like, okay, now we're 
on a, it's like We're a roller continuing coaster. the story right right so like it's like the like you're on a roller coaster and now you're going for a ride and the free so. fall is pretty crazy on those drops and, yes and it's funny because you say that the last episode felt like you know the roller coaster aspect but now we're getting into the story and I feel like um, we're going to get answers. We're, we're starting to get answers. But even if we don't get the answers, I'm still okay with that. That's the thing about this show. It's like I want the answers, but when I don't get them, I'm still okay with not getting those answers because I feel like they're coming. I feel like we are going to get answers. The fact that we have Admiral Thrawn, Grand Admiral Thrawn showing up, but we know well, that... We, we, mentioned. He's got it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't be an Admiral Thrawn tease. You gotta <laughs> show Admiral Thrawn uh, and then who's going to play Thrawn. True. But that means that Gideon is underneath Thrawn or if they maybe went their separate ways at some point. But I, highly I, doubt I it. feel like there is that, that, that sense of, cause there are different things scattered around and yeah. Gideon is doing his own thing. Could be. And you know, so I Thrawn think that Thrawn is doing his own thing, thing as cool. well. Um, one thing that I would like to say about this is that I was very nervous when it came to seeing how Ahsoka was going to be played right. in, in in the show because, you know, I love Ashley Eckstein. I think that she did such a good job as the voice actor for, for Ahsoka. And I understand why, you know, they went with Rosario Dawson just because, like, the stature of the way that Ahsoka is. Um, drawn and everything like that too. Right. Um, so I was a little nervous, but at the same time, I'm like, well, this is directed by Dave Filoni. It was written by Dave Filoni, so he did have a lot of hands on. I'm sure doing this episode, and it did feel like I felt him like the Ahsoka presence there. Hundred percent. So I was like, okay, I'm digging this. Like I felt like it was, you know, her just older. To me, it also felt like Rosario Dawson at times. Though very true. I was like, oh, it's Rosario Dawson. Uh, But I feel like at any point, if we ever get a flashback or a vision of a younger Ahsoka Tano, 100%, please bring in Ashley Exting to play the younger Ahsoka Tano. It doesn't even need to be, you know, for like a whole series. Don't give her a whole series. But if for some reason a vision or a flashback comes up, she absolutely could play the younger version of Ahsoka. But either way, we're getting that badass lightsaber battling the beautiful imagery of the duels. The two duels taking place, uh, amazingly done. I, I was very happy with the execution of Michael Bean's character, no pun intended. Uh, I love Michael Bean. Uh, I'm so happy that they brought him into this to have him for an episode. Yeah, I'm bummed that it's it's done. It's a one and done. But at the same time, like it it was executed well. I mean, he was that number two, that that jerk. You know, that's uh, quick on the draw when it comes to uh, seeing the threat. He's he's very intelligent too. Yeah. Like he heard the ting and he's like, well, looks like you're side one, and he still knew how to get out of it. But at the same time, man, you're dueling against the Mandalorian, just like once he was dueling against Doc Holliday. Yeah. And, Again, yeah, it did not work out for him, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe he had like protection and he comes back, but that's wishful thinking. He's dead. Uh, they would have just... pulled a Clint Eastwood. Yeah, there you go. Just throw out a little Marty McFly action going on. But man, the music too in this, you got that little homage to Yoda's theme, uh, the Dagobah theme, you know, those, those amazing Yoda, very uh, intimate theme that I love about uh that score so getting that just a taste of it here that just shows uh that ludwig Gorenson has no problem utilizing the old school theme if it very is small, suiting. Of course. yeah very small and that's all you need to do just right, a touch that's all you need. just a just a little taste um taste. but grogu grogu man i'm grogu so much going it's it's there's so much more there's so much more to it. The there's, game is Goku. there's so many more ways we can go, and it's exciting uh, to see where we're headed, where we're going, and uh, we're where it's gonna take us in this tale. Uh, and we're just along for the ride with you guys. You guys are here with us, just enjoying all these episodes and all this fun. For the tales that they have yet to tell us in the world of the Mandalorian. And we're going to get Obi-Wan. We're going to do this all over again. Uh, we're going to get the Cassian Andor series. We're going to do this all over yeah. again. So <laughs> we're in the long haul for these Star Wars stories. As long These are the Star Wars stories, okay? Either way, guys, thank you so much for watching our reaction to The Jedi. What did you think, obviously? Let us know down in the comments below. So many of you were very right about the predictions. So you got a pretty keen eye on where this is headed. Uh, and we're really looking forward to 
to getting there. Again, you can check out our full episode watch along, skew up the episode on Disney Plus, watch along with us on our Patreon. Thanks for everybody that's joined up so far since we started The Mandalorian. It's just going to get crazier from here. So yes. thank you guys. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, start us. All the social networking gin joints, you know where they are. Thanks so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.